Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah Elizabeth and today we are going to be doing a nice light and bright spring makeup look and for the eye portion I will be using the ColourPop Blush Crush Palette. Here's a quick little look at that. I have a whole bunch of items here ready to go but I don't for sure know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I have a very broad idea but I wanted to mostly hang out with all of you. As always, this video is not sponsored at all. <laughs> and don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, see more of my goofy face. I upload every Tuesday and Friday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And occasionally, I'll upload a bonus video on Saturdays. I also do unboxings for FabFitFun and BoxyCharm, and I try to get those up as soon as possible when those happen. Okay, first off, we have to, oh geez, I didn't grab a primer. Oh well, we're going without, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my Auric Glow Lust in Morganite. Just gonna put a little bit on my hand. Just kind of dot it around my cheeks and forehead, edges of my forehead. And I've got my new Beauty Bakery little sponge here that I received in a BoxyCharm for, was that March? Or, I feel like that had to be February, but no, I believe it's April. Can't believe how fast that's gone by. I did apply a good moisturizer already. Okay. I love that stuff. It adds just add that little bit more of a glow. I have my Becca Under Eye Brightening Co Corrector in light to medium. I love this stuff and I have a supposed dupe coming for that. It is the Pixie one. I am going to film a side-by-side -side comparison video for that. So definitely stay tuned. I heard it on like four different YouTube channels. So I was like, all right, we gotta, we gotta try this out. So I am getting kind of low. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really sad about that. I really like this stuff. It blends so nicely. I, I seriously like to just put this on and sometimes I'll just powder it and bam, I'm good. I'll go out for the rest of my day like this. Usually I'll add some mascara, uh, but usually it's a more natural mascara if I decide to do that. I have been enjoying this sponge though so far. Okay. I'm gonna grab a bit of my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Fair Rose. Little dot, little dot. And carry it there. I know, you're like, wait, what? That's not a lot, Savannah. I'm not done. This is my NARS Natural Radiant, or Radiant Creamy Concealer. I always wanted to say Natural Radiant because of that foundation. <laughs> and this is in the shade Light 1.25, so a little bit darker. And I like to just use that. Nah, let's save the chin. If I need more, I'll grab more. I know I generally do like to do my foundation before this step, but I like, yeah, this helps me decide how much extra I need of anything. So you can see I do need a little bit more something something. So I have my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in ON1 Petal, which does have some SPF. This is not my only SPF I'm using today. I am also not leaving the apartment. <laughs> so, just a little bit where I think I need it. Or a little more coverage. All right. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I use a sponge. It works really nice either way. It just adds that tiniest little bit more coverage that I like. I like to keep it light 
and more on the natural dewy gorgeous side when I can I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Fenty Beauty powder in lavender it's the loose powder um, where's the brush I like this brush I'm gonna grab a tiny bit tap off all excess I don't want a lot on this is my Alamar Cosmetics brightening brush And I just like to use this to set under my eyes and my nose. Just in spots I know cream products I'm not going to be touching at all. So, under my eyelid. Do, do, do. A little bit in the forehead. I'm not too worried about blending it out because... That portion will happen later. I legitimately dumped a bunch of this, well, not dumped, but a bunch of this got all over my vanity and I was so sad the other day. It's like, no! But I have my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in 01 Amber. I like to use a dense brush like this and go up a little higher and place that is my contour I don't blend it out with the brush I use the brush mostly to place it mm -hmm. I guess I shouldn't have set my nose but whatever it still blends out really nicely anyway especially because I'm using minimal product definitely looks a little crazy so grabbing it I'm going to just tap that out. It does. It blends out so nicely, doesn't it? Alright. And we should not be doing this area right now. I re-pierced my ears the other day. Don't do what I do. <laughs> do it yourself. It wasn't like completely closed. It was just like that little bit in the back. I was like, Nur. Come on, come on, come on. Just that tiny little bit. Big fluffy brush. I'm gonna grab the powder from my forehead. There. And just a little bit more of the Fenty Beauty powder. And dab off most of it, but yeah. It does hide or the cream bronzer does blend out really well. You can barely see it anymore, which it's a good little base. It lasts so well, so not upset at all. All right, all powdered down. I'm gonna put lids on all these products because I get distracted and just go for it apparently. I'm going to do my highlight and blush quick. Sometimes that helps me see what else I need on my face. So I have my Tarte, Tartist Pro Glow from Tarte. Move. And I'm going to open you up. Grab my beautiful fluffy blush brush here. They have... I don't really like this packaging. It drives me insane. It's like Windows open I'm gonna grab which side is it Jeez, I'm gonna mix both of these blushes that are on the top all right so, and it's magnet magnetized so yeah it likes to close on me and starting at the top and bringing it inward that's pretty it gives a more lifted look I'm putting it almost where my highlighter goes Yeah, there we go. And blendy, 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 blend. Blendy, blendy, blend. I feel like this one has a little, uh, little light compared to the other side. Bring a little bit of whatever's left on my brush all over the rest of my face. All right. I like that blush. I'm going to go with a lighter highlight. This is my Tarte 
Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette. I like Tarte. <laughs> I was originally going to go with a bright blinding highlight, but I decided against it. I'm actually going to mix both of these shades, so Sunlight, this one, and Moonlight. Mostly sticking with the champagne color. It is such a beautiful light highlight. I do tend to go toward more pinky highlights, but it's, it's so subtle and perfect for like that light, natural look, more natural look. Taking the same brush, I'm gonna bring it kind of around. Not using a whole lot extra pro of product. Perfect. All right, now dipping into the pinky one just to add a little bit of a sh pink shift to it in some spots. I find if I use just this one, it's just too dark for my skin. All right, putting that away. <laughs> well, what should I do? Do I need my bronzer? Yes, I do. I'm going to grab my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette, and I'm gonna dip into do I want? I want to do a shimmery bronzer. So I'm going to mix these two shades, Carrot and Princess Cut, with my beautiful Alamar Cosmetics brush. This is the complexion brush. This is the Mo a Moda brush, and so is this. And this one is just a random brush I have. And then the one I used for the cream bronzer was from Baddington Brushes. There. All caught up all right okay I feel like that picked up way too much okay tap off a little bit oh yeah that got a lot more okay. oh yeah just a light little sun kissed look there okay move all of that aside I like that I like how it's looking I'm going to quick put on a lip balm. This is my Sugar Rush Peony Best Bud. Okay. <laughs> Pop a little of that on. I'm gonna grab my iconic London Prep Set and Glow. All right. Now, eyeshadow. Okay. I'm going to grab my brightening brush. Actually, I'm going to use that to set my lid. I'm going to grab my Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette. I'm going to dip into Halo, the one at the very end. Actually, I'm going to quick press my eye down. There, make sure there's no more creasing. So grab that with Halo. Use that to set a little bit more of a base. All right, now eyeshadow. <laughs> All right, where do I want to start? I'm gonna start with putting the one, this nice little peach shade in my crease. Grab a nice big fluffy brush. This one is clean, it's just stained green from St. Patrick's Day. I did a little live makeup thing on my Instagram that day, which was actually really fun. All right, so just putting that in my crease, building that up. All right, with that beautifully built up, I'm gonna grab a different brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of Made You Blush, that middle peachy pink shade here. It is a sequin shade, but most of that gets blended away. I'm just gonna add that more in my crease. Again, just more, what's that word? More, I don't know, it, it, precisely pr placed. 
and not bringing that very far in. I'm just gonna fill that up. It is powdery, but beautiful. Crease and outer portion. You can see the difference that has made. Just very light and beautiful. So I'm gonna catch up the other eye real quick. Wow. <laughs> I like that so far. I'm going to grab the Shimmer Enamored on my ring finger. I know I'm not using the glitter. My usual favorite thing to do is glitter, but, you know, I gotta get, you know, gotta mix it up. Use more out of a palette. <laughs> so I'm just putting this on my lid wherever those colors are not so pretty much my entire lid except that very outer part so beautiful and peach i i will do my lower lashes line all of that stuff in a minute i promise i'm not forgetting it color pops shimmers are so buttery smooth honestly oh my goodness i also ignore my little friend there it just does not want to leave me. So I'm gonna use this bigger fluffy brush. I'm gonna grab cheek to cheek, or wait, no. No, I'm gonna grab Meiju blush first. And come here. Use that about halfway in. We're just going very slow. Well, apparently I'm bringing it in all the way, whoops. With shadows, I do like to try to make sure they meet up on the edge like that. All right, grabbing my fluffy brush. Just gonna blend, blend. <laughs> wow. I feel like that got intense very, very fast. I like how that's looking though. I feel like I need a little more something, something. I'm gonna grab my ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade exit the white one i'm going to quick line my waterline on the bottom off camera a nude shade would work as well for that but wow i feel like it works really well because it is such a lighter look and i'm gonna quick apply my mascara and take the lip balm eh, actually i'll leave it on i'll just apply my gloss over that wow <laughs> The, the mascara really brought this look together. I just layered my Tarte Man Eater mascara and my Wander Beauty Mile High Club mascara for my upper lashes. And then my bottom ones, I just used my Wander Beauty mascara. I focused it on the outer portion when it came to my bottom lashes. Tried to combine bottom and lower, did not work. Oh well. And then for my lip gloss, I just used my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Silk. I really enjoyed this lip gloss. It's so beautiful and natural. But I did not forget inner corner highlight. So I'm going to grab my Tarte palette and I'm going to just grab that champagne -y shade on my finger. It's so buttery smooth. And just pop that right on my inner corner. Uh-huh. So beautiful. Ugh, got a little booger I guess eye boogers are lovely aren't they it's so pretty you pop a little there in there okay not done yet my extra SPF I'm going to use is my Kula makeup setting spray with SPF 30 I really enjoy this it expires soon and I'm really sad this is such a great extra barrier from the Sun so I really do enjoy it. It does have a pretty unpleasant scent, but the benefits really are there. It's not a like added extra scent. It's, it's the chemicals used to make it a setting spray. Also, I'm really sad about this. I added a little bit too much glitter with that first setting spray. You can always skip that or use whatever setting spray you want instead. But I like a little shimmer, but went a little overboard. Not mad at it really though. So, all right, setting spray. Blah. 
hate that smell, hate that smell. And there's the finished look. I really do hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell to see more of my goofy face. And I hope you're having a great start to your spring. And I'll see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye.